You're such a good boy. Wait. Okay, equality's call. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know I'm coming to you, hold on. You don't have to come to me, I'm coming over there. Hey. Oh my goodness, Mr. Boss, those noises. Mr. Boss. You ready? Hi, welcome to Storytime with Shelly and the Shelter Animals. I'm back with Mr. Boss, and we are back with another awesome book for you today. This one is called Equality's Call, the story of voting rights in America by Deborah Deason and illustrated by Magdalena Mora. And today we are reading with permission from Beach Lane Books and Simon and Schuster. So, are you ready to get started, Mr. Boss? Settle in. Put your listening ears on. It's time for stories. Okay. Equality's Call. The story of voting rights in America. Our founders declared when our country began that the consent of the governed was part of the plan. Through voting elections and representation, the voice of the people would strengthen our nation. In fact, though, for years, this great founding ideal was extended to some, and for others, not real. But we heard in the distance, equality's call, a right isn't right till it's granted to all. The states set the rules about who got to vote, and your gender, your race, and your wealth were of note. White men with property went to the polls, but the rest of the people were left off the rolls. The dream of democracy wasn't yet true. There were changes to make. There was work still to do. But we heard growing clearer, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The rules about wealth were the first thing to go. As more were enfranchised, their voices could grow. And a small group of voices was raising the fact that enslavement was wrong, an unspeakable act. Good people stood up for the truth that they knew. Abolition and suffrage were long overdue. We heard ever louder, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. There was war in our nation and slavery ended. Amendments were added, the franchise extended. Now more men could vote, at least so the law said, yet denial through taxes and tests was widespread. And the voices of women were mostly omitted. In only some states was their voting permitted. But nothing could muffle equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Suffragists didn't give up on the fight, and the 19th Amendment gave women the right. But voters of color still met with oppression. Their voting was hindered by brutal suppression. We heard it. We felt it. Equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The journey's not over. The work hasn't ended. Democracy's dream must be constantly tended. But where we are now is a debt that we owe to the work of more people than ever will know. And each time we vote, we acknowledge that past. We honor our rights to ensure they will last. For to vote is to answer equality's call. And each time we vote, we vote with them all. 
The end. Did you love that? Did it make you sleepy? That's okay. Sometimes good books make us sleepy. Even though for should be sweet boy. Well, we hope you enjoyed story time today. Boss and I did. Boss clearly did. He's sleeping now. So we will see you next time on Story Time with Shelly and the Shelter Animals. Good job, buddy. You did so good. You did so good. You sleepy, sleepy boy. You sleepy boy. Look at your little wrinkles on your legs. Look at the wrinkles. Look at the wrinkles on the legs. Oh my goodness, you sweet boy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. He's such a good boy. Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss. Gunkies. You got donkeys? Such a good boy, Mr. Boss. Such a good boy. Look at this sweet little paws. He's such a gentleman. They're such a gentleman. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.